For Angelina Jolly, UNHCR's goodwill ambassador, this is a return trip. Her last visit to this warehouse in Kabul was two years ago. It is one of 30 informal settlements that houses returning refugees and internally displaced people in Afghan's main city. Fifty families live here with very little, struggling to eke out a living on the streets of Kabul. Ms. Jolie is reunited with 70-year-old Bibi Zamo Jan. Two years on, Bibi is too sick to leave the damp room she shares with eight others. Ms. Jolie is moved by what she hears. This idea of what return is and, and the difference between just returning and reintegrating and the focus that needs to be put now on reintegration and that means not just putting a shelter up but making sure there's water, making sure there's job opportunities, making sure there's a school for the children, medical. Starting again requires a lot of support, says UNHCR's Goodwill Ambassador. So a lot of these plots that have been given, they have one thing or the other, but they don't have everything. And so it's, it's difficult for people really to properly um, reintegrate and start their lives and be independent. And I think that's the big focus where people need to come together and really help develop these areas in a very co comprehensive, full way. And Miss Jolly also traveled to Kalagadu village, which lies north of Kabul. Here, almost every family is a returned refugee or internally displaced. She has helped build a primary school for these young girls, which will open soon. These girls are excited to meet the visitor who is supporting their education. And where did you come from, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> I, I came from America, in California. As the American America. But this is my second time to Afghanistan, and, and I think this is a, a, a very special place, a very special place. And what else do they feel? And what else do they feel that in this village, I know that school is very important, what are the other things that they feel that they need in this, in this village? <laughs> Ten years after returning home, many former Afghan refugees are still struggling to rebuild their lives. Reintegration is hard, but they live in the hope of making it happen one day.